Congratulations, Josh. How are you today? Thank you. I'm, I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your feeling about coming to a team that has such an explosive uh, offense? Ah, oh, man, words, words can't describe really how, how I feel right now. I'm just, I when, when they call me, you know, I'm just really excited to just, just come in and get to work, you know, just the past four months training, training so hard. Uh, not at all, this is over. I'm just excited to just get with the team and get to work, get in the office and, and win some games. Um, so what, what would you say would be your strength as a wide receiver? Um, I feel my strength, my, my ability to go up and attack the ball. Um, you know, sinking into sinking into my breaks. You know, getting defenders' hips moving, um, getting off the ball vertical, catching with my hands, uh, my route running, getting out of my breaks. Thank you, Gilbert. Hey, Josh. Uh, did you speak to the Chargers uh, before the draft? Uh, no, not not no. I I had. If I remember, I, I haven't. Just small small calls, but I never had a Zoom. Are you a little surprised that they, they chose you here in the in the third round? Pardon me. Are you a little surprised they chose you here in the third round? Uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I don't even. I'm just so happy because I think any team that would draft me is surprising. But just to go to the Chargers, you know, they're such a such a great such a great team, you know, to to, to play for and you know, I just just this moment right now, I can't even put into words. You know, I haven't stopped smiling yet, so. Hey, uh, Josh, you're going to play with the rookie of the year at quarterback, Justin Herbert. Uh, your thoughts on that? I'm ready to get to work right now. If I can fly down right now, I, I will be there right now, running routes tomorrow. <laughs> and, routes and, last, tomorrow. and last thing, uh, uh, Josh, uh, I think you play mainly in the slot at Tennessee. Or do you play a little bit of everything? Or how do you kind of describe yourself? And what's your, kind of your best fit as a wide receiver? I played majority outside, uh, but I did play, play a lot in the slot this year. So, you know, I feel like I could play in and out. You know, my coach T. Martin would put an emphasis on being able to play a position of the Z, the X, and the F. And he told us that, you know, Zs don't get drafted, you know, receivers get drafted. So I take a lot of pride in playing, playing every position on the field. Thank you and congrats again. Thank you. Nick Hamilton. Hey Josh, congratulations. Um, just being a part, like you said earlier, about being a part of this Chargers team. What are you looking for with most of them learning from guys like Keenan Allen and Mike Williams? Uh, as much as I can, you know, I'm going to be in their back pocket. And I, I, I can tell you guys that right now, I'm going to be watching them like a hawk, trying to study everything they do on and off the field, you know, how they how they, how they live their lives, you know, around football, the decisions they make around football, um, how they take care of their body, you know, just being in the room, being around them. I'm going to be, I'm going to be in their back pocket like some, like some spare change and, you know, I'm going to try and learn as much as I can while, while, while I'm there and while they're here. I'm just soak it all in like a sponge. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Popper. Hey, Josh. Congratulations. Sorry. Can you hear me? I just said congratulations. Oh, thank you. Um, grew up in, in Canada and your dad played in the CFL. I'm just curious, how, how would you describe the, the football culture in Canada? Uh, my dad didn't, didn't play in the CFL. All he played was college football in uh, in Canada. Gotcha. Um, okay. uh, sorry, what, what was the second question? Yeah, just, I mean, how would you describe the football culture in Canada growing up there? Uh, the culture was definitely there. Um, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't on the same level as it is, you know, across the border. Um, but, you know, we had the CFL there. We have Benjamin St. Jude that, that just got drafted before me is from Canada. So, you know, we have a lot of ballers down there. And, you know, I can't wait for, for Canadian football or players in Canada to, to get bigger and, and to grow as a country in football. But, you know, down there, there's a, there's a lot of guys and, you know, it's a great environment to, to play football down there. You know, the field is bigger. You got one more player, you know, a little bit different rules, but, you know, they love it just like anybody else. And one of your biggest strengths is your, is your hands. If I have it correct, you only had four drops and, in your entire college career, where did that come from? Where, where did your good hands come from? Uh, practice, you know, the jug machine, you know, catching the jug machine, uh, catching balls every day, uh, strengthening my hands, doing grip drills, uh, you know, just, just things like that. I played, I played, you know, I played goalkeeper growing up a lot and, you know, you have to use your hands to, to get the ball. So that's one thing that I can, I can contribute to that, but, you know, just a lot of work that I put in. Thanks. Joe Reedy. 
Josh, you're the second straight pick uh, that the Chargers have taken from Aquinas High School. What was it like going up against uh, Asante Samuel? Yeah. Uh, my, my, I tell everybody my very first rep at the same time with Aquinas was, was Asante Samuel, and he, he, he put his hands on me. But, uh, you know, it's going to be exciting to be re reunited with him and just to go to work. You know, Iron, Iron Sharper is hiring, and I'm ready to, to go back and get to work with Asante. What was it, what was the process of going from Canada down to St. Thomas Aquinas? Was it because you wanted to develop as a college football player? You thought going down to Florida would be the better move? All of that, you know, I knew I was going to – I had no choice but to develop as a better football player just seeing the competition that I was around. And one of the biggest things of moving down there was definitely exposure. You know, like you said, there wasn't a lot in Canada. Or like I said earlier, there wasn't a lot in Canada at the time. So, you know, that place was, was the place to be. It was the best high school team in the country, and I knew that this is the place where I needed to be if I wanted to be great. And then just you dealt with a lot at Tennessee with coaching changes, quarterbacks in and out, um, you know, different offensive coordinators and stuff. How do you think dealing with that adversity will help you in the pros? It will definitely help me. Uh, if I didn't go to Tennessee, I wouldn't be drafted by the Chargers right now. That's how, that's how I see it. And, you know, I, I, I was fortunate to learn from so many coaches. Um, so in so many different ways of coaching and you know I you know and that's what I love about just coming from Tennessee and knowing how to how to uh, how to deal with different coaches and what they see and what they look for so it's a blessing okay thanks congratulations Cam Buford hey Josh congratulations man on getting drafted thank you so much um, would you talk about uh, that talent disparity coming from did you play football in Canada? Coming yeah. from Canada, going to South Florida, talk about yeah. that talent disparity. What what that was like? Uh, you know, there there was a lot of a, a lot of talent back home, but you know, again, down in St. Thomas, there I was surrounded by five stars, four stars. You know, I was I was I was a sm I was a small guy there, I was, and you know, just being around there, being getting seven on, playing seven on seven with guys that are even getting drafted right now. Um, you know, like I said before, I I was forced to get better. Like I had no choice and, you know, I had to develop that hunger to want to want to get better and have to be great because I moved down for a reason. Now, would you, would you lean on that experience or did you lean on that experience going from uh, high school to college? And then would you lean on that experience now going from college to the pros? For sure. For sure. Um, you know, it's always the things in your past that will help you in your future after you learn from the mistakes that you made. So, um, you know, just going up against different, different guys, seeing, seeing different techniques, um, you know, all that stuff I'm going to, I'm going to bring into my NFL team. And do you have a message for Charger fans? Uh, I'm coming to work, uh, man, you're going to get everything out of me. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't really care what role I, what role I have. I'm, I'm going to learn. I'm going to, you're going to get everything from me and we're going to, we're going to win some games and we're going to, we're going to win some championships for real. Okay. That's a high, that's a high bar, boy. Congratulations, man. Sure. We're going to win some championships. There you go. Have a good one. Thank you. All right, last one for you, Josh. Dan? Hey, Josh. Dan Roth of the Canadian Press. Congratulations. Um, hey. Now the fun begins, right? Like, I mean, you've been drafted, and, and it's the realization, but obviously the real work begins now. Mm. And mm. I'm just wondering, I mean, how much are you going to sort of relish this and then tomorrow morning get up and go back to work? Uh. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I've been working. I've been working out this whole, this whole, this whole time. Uh, this whole, this whole, you know, since the draft started. You know, just because the draft's going on doesn't mean I stop working. That, that's not yeah. gonna stop anything. Um, and this is the moment I've been waiting. This is the moment I've been waiting for. And you know, once I'm once I'm finally there, that's that's where everything starts starts to happen. And you know, I realized that throughout these these months that there was a lot of work being put in. But now the real and the, the real fun stuff stuff. You know, this is the this is what I've been training for. And now that it's here, it's time to go take advantage of it and be great.